Let's go over now, let's start again. Hey guys, just a little update about my long COVID situation. If you watch my previous videos, you know that I switched my treatment protocol, if you will, from a physiological assessment to a neurological assessment. Since doing that, my symptoms have improved hugely, uh, meaning they've diminished quite a bit. So uh, I'd say I'm down like 90% or so, give or take. Essentially, I've eliminated some symptoms entirely, no more heart palpitation, uh, palpitations, and no more extreme fatigue, that's gone. So I'm left with neuropathy and dizziness. Frequency of that in terms of how often it occurs and how powerful those symptoms are have also diminished quite a bit as well. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about looking at long COVID as a neurological software malfunction as opposed to some sort of physiological problem. Some people think that there are remnants of SARS flowing around their bodies, hence they're getting all these symptoms. Uh, I realized, and if you watch previous videos, I go into uh, detail about it, but I won't do it here. But it, essentially, I realized that I was able to uh, control and eliminate symptoms through uh, mindfulness, uh, through exercise. And I found that uh, over time, this has become more and more effective. Anyway, just this, this video is just here to give you an update to see whether or not I rebounded. Uh, in the negative. I have not. I've continued to slowly make progress and I'm not really working as uh, consistently as I should vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the training you need to do to reprogram your brain and to not, uh, not exhibit the symptoms, to not cause your symptoms to rise. If you're a little confused about this, what happens basically is um, not just with long COVID people, but with people who get into all kinds of situations where their brain thinks that it is still in a flight or fight situation, meaning your lower brain thinks that you're still under some sort of risk. So if it triggers all these flight or fight symptoms like heart palpitations, dizziness, neuropathy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what you have to do is you have to reprogram your brain to let it know that you're not in danger, that you don't need these uh, symptoms to occur. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there you go. It works for me. I'm not telling you what to do, but it works for me. And it's worked for all those thousands and thousands of other people. So you may want to look into it. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, uh, look up Dr. Sarno. Look up neuroplasticity. Uh, and watch my previous videos where I go into detail. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.